Hi everyone, it's Miss Sarah from the Zine Community Library. I have a bedtime story time for you tonight. I have a couple books and a song. So the first book we are going to read is called Night Animals Need Sleep Too by Iana Marino. And I am reading this book with permission from Penguin Publishers. Night Animals Need Sleep Too. Right. There's our skunk. Hey, Possum, what's wrong? It's too bright. I need somewhere dark and quiet to sleep. How about we sleep in that cave? It's dark and quiet. Buzz. What's that buzzing sound? Oh no, bees! Ouch! Run! Possum! Watch out! What for? Uh-oh. He's gonna run into the tree. Oh. oh dear. How about we sleep in that tree? Ah, nice and peaceful. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch. Do you hear something? Crack. <laughs> oh, now it's a beaver. Timber. Uh-oh. Oh no, did I kill Possum? Are you dead again? Possum says, oh, hey, I don't think he's dead. Oh, Possum, I am so sorry you are dead. He does that sometimes. This den is nice and dark. Calm down. Ooh, they found a den. Something is down here. Uh-oh. Skunk let off this little stinky smell. What is that smell? <clears throat> cough, cough, cough. Skunks don't belong in wolf dens. The wolf. Ooh, that looks cozy and quiet. Found a tent. Ooh, can you move over? <gasps> You're alive. Did you hear something? Crackle, 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 crackle. Crunch, crunch. Zip. Uh -oh. Somebody's opening the tent. Oh, and there goes Skunk again with his little stinky smell. It's people. And they say, my animals, run, run, everybody run. <sighs> we'll never get any sleep. Oh, and there's Bat. He says, sleep, it's almost dark. Almost dark. It's time for night animals to wake up. Oh, and there's an owl. Boo, boo. The end. All right, I have one more book. It is called Good Night Veggies by Tamana Murray and Zachariah O'Hora. And I am reading this book today with permission from Cotton Mifflin Harcourt Publishers. Good night, veggies. All right, so we've got our garden here. Sunset in the garden. Robins in their nest. And then we've got our little worm friend. And tossing, turning veggies need to get some rest. Turnips. Tucked in tightly, and some turnips and potatoes, cozy eyes. Tuckered out tomatoes, humming lullabies. Cuddly cold flowers, droopy pods of peas. Rhubarb reading stories to worn out broccolis. Baby carrots snuggling, and baby lettuce too. Baby eggplants, little eggplants dreaming, pretty dreaming of places far and new. Cucumbers are calm, mind of nice and neat. Mm, I like cucumbers. Golden yams are still, and beets are simply beet. That means they're just so tired. 
cabbages are nodding. They're in sleepy, sleepy fence. Radishes are dozing in cozy garden beds. Oh, celery is snoring, snore, snore, snore. As sunset disappears, cranky corn rolls over and covers up its ears. Every veggie is snoozing beneath the moon so bright as our moon up there. For well, nothing's more exhausting than growing day and night, right? Good night, sleepy veggies. Sleep tight. The veggies need rest just like you, right? Because they're growing all day and all night long. That's a lot of work. And all right, so I've got one song before we go. And it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So for our twinkling, we're going to do this with our hands. And when we make our diamond, we're going to put our thumbs together. And we're going to put our pointer fingers together. All right. All right, here we go. Get your hands ready. Get your twinkling stars ready. Thank you for joining me today. Have a very good night.